was an amazing place. It was a place where surfing was just natural, get out there, free-spirited, flowing surfing that it was. There was a lot of fights, a lot of drugs, a lot of stealing. Yeah, Cronulla was a tough place if you weren't a local. It was uh, almost a club, the Cronulla Point surfers. A lot of stand-ups, obviously. There were no bodyboards to be seen in the water. Shark Island's an incredible wave. It's a wave that you can get very hurt on. There was this stigma that bodyboarders were bodyboarding because they weren't good enough to surf. Had to happen. The, the island is just made for bodyboarding, man. Come on. When we first started surfing, we were just kids, mate, you know? So we went out and we were just shit ourselves. After I broke my back, yeah, the skid kids took it over, mate. You know, they started taking it on. We weren't even thinking about the outside world, you know. We were just, like, challenging each other and just going for it. Once you got guys that had a foresight of riding these crazy waves, it was sick to watch. That is the beginning of the Skid Kids and to put bodyboarding on the map. They were the first bad boys of the sport. Young people aspire to that, you know, rebellion. Probably the reason why we all love bodyboarding, to be honest. Surf hard, play hard. So, what? He's dead? What the fuck is this thing they reckon that I've got? Because I was in denial. I'm going, there's nothing wrong with me. The kid kids were definitely a menace back in the day. We were a thorn in people's backsides. People didn't want us. And unfortunately, we weren't going anywhere. It was just different. It's just what it needed at that time of just people not caring about being stereotyped. Taking it on. We weren't even thinking about the outside world, you know. We were just like challenging each other and just going for it. Yeah.